guys, for this first activity, you're going to need either some cotton balls or ping pong balls. If you don't have any of those, you could maybe crumble up a little piece of paper or a tissue, something light. That's what you need, okay? And this cotton ball, does it have any control over where it's going to go? Can it make itself go to the other side of the table? Of course not, right? But guess what? I have the power to move this cotton ball and to control this cotton ball. Watch. Right? I can move the cotton ball. You know what? If I have the power to control and move this cotton ball, who is powerless to do anything on its own, how much more power do you think Jesus has over our problems and our situations? How much more power does he have? He's in control, and he has the power to help us through any of our problems. So here's what you can play a game to help you remember that it's Jesus' power who could, who's in control and can help us through things. So what you can do is take your cotton ball. If you have some straws at home, you can use a straw. That'll make it fun. If not, you can just blow. But you're going to try to blow your cotton ball maybe to the end of the table, maybe to the other side of a room. Involve your brother and sister. Make it a competition. Or you can try to involve your mom and dad and see if you can beat your mom and dad to be the first one to get to the other side of the room by just blowing your cotton ball. No hands, just blowing. If you want to, to make it even more fun, you can make a little maze. You can put a tape maze on the floor and you have to keep your cotton ball within the maze. Or you can use string if you don't have tape. You can find stuff around the house, make it creative, but have fun. Erase each other. And when you do it, remember that it's Jesus who has the power over our situation. So we don't have to be afraid and we don't have to worry about anything because Jesus is in control and Jesus has the power over everything. All right, thanks guys.